Hey guys, here with my review of the Ishin OSD 5840 5.8 GHz 40 channel audio video transmitter. Uh, this was provided free of charge from uh, Banggood for my testing and review. So let's go ahead and get into it. Here we have uh, the unit itself, and uh, it comes with this antenna. Ishin antenna, which is a very nice antenna, bendy, hold its position, but will uh, survive a crash. But unfortunately, I don't have a, another matching one for the re, uh, for my monitor, so I had to throw on my Amways. Um, so first and foremost, uh, let me show you since I have my Falcon apart right now. Uh, size, size wise, if you can see in here, it's my Falcon VTX right there in the middle. Um, uh, lining up the size, it's about twice the length, probably about one and a half times the, uh, width and a lot thicker. So if you're putting this on the 250 like this, size wise, you're taking up a big chunk uh, of, uh, quad copter and this one is pretty heavy, um, for the full specs. Um, you can check my unboxing video. Uh, I'll have a link in the description. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, show you what the OSD looks like. Sorry, uh, didn't take my monitor off my tripod because it's a little funky. If you see all my video where my tripod fell over, uh, so yeah, it's a little broke, so I don't want to mess it up. So go ahead and hook this up. This 3S LiPo that came with my Falcon. Uh, this is actually my second time doing this review. Yesterday, plugged it up to my Falcon camera. Fried my Falcon camera, so. If I can get an upgrade, run Cam Swift. Um, anyways, oh, <laughs> always helps to take the lens cap off. So, here we go. OSD text. Um, let's get this here. You have voltage, but lipo voltage. As you can see, it's raw lipo, uh, as it should be, so it can actually read the correct voltage. Um, Uptime and channel. Let's see. A1. Um, let's go through the features real quick. Uh, here you have the little uh, channel and frequency display. Um, you see heat shrinks good. It's a nice quality product. Feels very, very, very solid. Um, wires flexible but firm. Um, comes with two buttons on it right here one button one and button two show you the uh, instructions right here button one for channels button two for frequency and long press button one to move on screen text uh, so button one goes through cycles one through four button two cycles one through eight and then back to one now uh, for my first negative, um, correct me if I'm wrong here, guys. Four channels, eight frequencies. That's a total of 32 available. Um, one should be 40. So, um, I don't know what's up with that. Um, maybe Ishii and Banga can hop in here and clarify that. But that's 32 to me. So anyways, moving on from that, 32 is fine. It's plenty enough for anyone. Um, next uh, little discrepancy I have, as I showed you, it says long press button one, as I found out, long pressing button one doesn't do anything. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you, just changes the channel. It doesn't wait to see if it's a long press. Uh, for me, I don't know if some wires got crossed or something, but for me, it's button two that actually does it. And if you look at the screen, when you long press button two, you see the OSD uh, text move down slightly. That's what the long press does to get it to the right position. Um, what is that? Four, five positions, six positions, seven, eight, nine, and off on the tenth one. And Long press again, it's back to the original position. So it's 
pretty good. Uh, if it's in the way of something, uh, you're, you know, if you want to fine tune it for your screen or your goggles, uh, it's a good little feature. Um, but overall, it's a nice, decent unit. It's built good. Um, this was my first time seeing the OSD built into the video transmitter. I've seen it in standalone uh, units. I've seen it on PDBs and I've seen it on flight controllers. It's my first time seeing this uh, on here. Um, so that's pretty good. Hopefully, Ishin comes out with a uh, smaller version for us mini quad guys. Um, because this is pretty big and heavy for uh, 250 at least. Um, but yeah, it's a nice unit. Thank you again to uh, Banga for sending this to me for review. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time.